All right, so let's get started. Uh, what we're going to do in this video is we're going to set up the localhost on your computer and we're going to download and install WordPress as well as make sure your text editor is up and then the browser that I'll be using. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and download the um, localhost program. Uh, I will be using MAMP which is essentially LAMP but for Mac and you can use it on Windows as well. Um, you can use any other localhost program that you want. doesn't really matter as long as it has PHP, Apache, and I think that's it. Um, but once you go here, you can go to map.info and you can download it. Just click here. I've already downloaded it, but once you do download it, all you're going to do is unzip it and it is going to basically take you through a uh, walkthrough setup. Just click through the next buttons and install it. It's pretty simple. Um, and then once it is installed, we're going to go ahead and run it. Um, so it's going to be if you put in your applications on a Mac anyways, if you go into your applications and you should be able to find it, map and run the program. Once this starts up, just hit start servers. And you'll be taken to the localhost default page. Um, so by default, your websites are stored in the application in the htdocs folder. Um, now we're going to create our first website in here. We're just going to create a folder. I already created it right here. We're just going to call it clientwebsite.com. You can call it whatever you want. But this is where our website is going to go. Um, so if we just go to forward slash after the 8888 to clientwebsite.com and we are in the index and because there is no index file this is what shows up. All right. So now that that is all set up, uh, this is where all of our files for the website will go and it will load in on this website right here in our local host. So the next thing we got to do is we got to install WordPress. It's pretty simple. Just go to wordpress.org, not .com, but .org, and we are going to download WordPress. A lot of uh, domains have a one-click install, you know, easy five-minute install WordPress. Uh, but to install it on a local host, you have to actually download the zip file and install it manually, even though it is it, pretty simple. Um, so you're going to download it, and once you download it, let me go ahead and find it in here. I have it right here, WordPress. So you're going to unzip it, and essentially what you're going to do is you're just going to highlight all these files, copy them, and you're going to go back to your your map folder and back into your client website or whatever you named it and you're just going to paste all the WordPress files in there and this will paste them all in so first thing you have to do once you have WordPress installed is you have to set up the database so to do that on the map program we're going to go to localhost slash 888 slash php my admin this is going to take you to the database for your local host. So now what we have to do is create a new table right here. And the database name, we will call it client website and create. All right. And that is pretty much it. So now that that database is started, we can go ahead and start our WordPress site up. So if you go to localhost 8888 slash clientwebsite.com, which is where the folder was. If you look, it is right here. This is where we are. We're in these files and it is going to load up the WordPress startup. So you just follow through the steps, continue, and it's going to say you need all this database information. And the database name is the name you just put in for your database. So I made it uh, client website username default for map is going to be root password is going to be root database localhost wp underscore leave that hit submit and now you're going to run the install okay so here is the world famous five minute wordpress installation 
So, site title. Uh, we will say client website. Username. Um, I'm just going to leave it at admin. Password. Uh, I'm going to hide it from you guys. And I'm going to put in my own password. It is very weak. <laughs> but I don't really care because this is on my local host. And I'm not too worried about anyone coming in here and stealing that. So, I'm going to put my email address, webdevprofesh at gmail.com. I know I need to get a database or a domain of webdevprofesh, but I'll do that later. Search engine, uh, you can click this on a local host. It doesn't really matter. Search engines won't be searching this, but once you install it on your domain, if you don't want this showing up on a search engine, just click this box. Install WordPress. And I'll go ahead and not save this. So WordPress has been installed. That's it. Just click login. And you'll log in with the username and password you just created. And bam, WordPress is installed. All right, so now that WordPress is downloaded and installed, we have our local host set up. Next thing we need to do is just make sure we have a text editor that we're going to use. Um, I will be using Atom Text Editor. And you should already have your a text editor installed if you are familiar with HTML and CSS. Um, I highly recommend Atom. My second choice would be Sublime. It's just it's expensive if you want to pay for it. Um, it really doesn't matter too much, but I like the way it works of Atom. Uh, I like the way Atom works. So, and in case if you're wondering in the future, the theme packages I'm using is the Space Gray Atom Dark UI theme and the Slime Syntax theme. All right, so now that we have everything set up, the last thing we need to do is just go over the one last tool that I will be using. Um, and this is the legendary Google Inspector. So on any website, if you right click on Google Chrome and click Inspect, this will show you all the things you need to do, all the things you need to see. And I will be using this a lot to kind of play with the CSS and see what kind of styles I want to use, as well as uh, figure out any problems that we come across. I'll be using the Google Developer Tools and the Inspector. Um, and that's pretty much the only other tool that I will be using as far as that goes. Um, so now that we have everything all set up, the next video we are going to be going over the starting template. So um, I'll be giving you a file in the next video and you can download that and set everything up and I'll explain everything and we'll go from there. Until next time, see you around.